Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my workshop. I'm working on a new truck uh, for my Diorama. Um, you know, I'm gonna need some an electric company truck. So this bed came from a Racing Champions 50s model Ford, which no longer exists. Um, but I still have the bed. It's a real nice quality bed. Everything works on it real nice and smooth. Um, I considered uh, shooting it with some doll coat, but then uh, that would risk uh, everything not working so nice and smooth. So we're just going to let it ride and run with it. Um, I'm going to put this in the back of a pickup today. Um, I've had this for many years. I don't even know if you can even would even be able to find this truck anymore. This thing's so old. Um, but we're going to build it. Um, as you can see, my table is a wreck again. We uh, haven't had a lot of work at work lately. It's been kind of slow, so I've had the opportunity to have several days off. I've been building truck after truck after truck. I've probably built 14 trucks in the last two weeks um, just because I was out, and then um, I wanted to take some different trucks down to my local diecast dealer, so see if I can sell some there too. Um, so... I've been building a lot. Uh, you'd think I'd have done a lot more videos over the last two weeks. I've done a few, but uh, not as many because I've been so busy building trucks. You guys have seen me build a dozen times, so I didn't want to put up videos building the same old truck again. But those are what sells, so I had to build a lot up. So now I am working on this today. Um, and then here's another thing. I don't know if you guys pay attention a lot you know in the background where it's kind of blurry back there every now and again I'll leave an Easter egg of you know something I'm working on a lot of times you'll see something back there on a video I've already done that's because I try to shoot several videos at once but anyway I'll quit trying to bore you I have been trying to find the perfect truck to put this in and I'm starting to think they don't make one so we're gonna have to make one ourselves. Um, so I dug another truck out of the parts box. Um, and let me explain why we are going to go with this truck. Mostly because I cannot cut this thing down because the floor is right here on the bottom. So I cannot cut this down at all. So, meaning it has to have the perfect truck bed to go in. And so far this Ford has, is the best one. It's the deepest. Um, the wheel wells are out of the way. Um, the Chevrolet green lights are just a tiny bit um, shallower, so this sticks up a little bit. And I wanted it down as close to the bed rail as I could get it. So, M2 is out because their beds are too shallow. And then it left green light beds, so like I said, this green light Ford bed is the best one that I could find. Um, I thought it's already got lights on top, so that would kind of go with the electric truck theme. Um, the only thing we need to do with this truck is just remove the tailgate, which actually shouldn't be that bad. Um, then we're obviously, you know I'm going to throw some M2 wheels at it. Um, you guys know, does anybody know what truck those wheels and tires are off of? There's only one truck that they that I know of that they make that has the spatter all over the wheels and tires. You guys know? Guess on it and I'll tell you in the next clip. So, that goes away. That goes away. What we're going to do is try not to damage this truck. I am going to attempt to cut it just inside the tail lights because they're going to try to keep those even though you won't see them. And then I'm going to cut it all the way down to the bottom of the bed as far as I can. And then we're going to take a pair of pliers and then on a hope and a prayer, we're going to hope that we can just snap it off and everything's hunky-dory. So let's try that. All right. I got the tailgate cut down. It's a little crooked, but um, the good part is, is I got a little crooked on the tailgate. That didn't matter. We were going to destroy the tailgate anyway. It wasn't going to be usable after this anyway. Um, maybe if you'd used a handsaw, but I'm all about getting it done quick. So 
here's the moment of truth we're going to find out together it should snap right off but we're going to find out so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this stuff out of the way so you can see take my pliers all the way to the bottom of the tailgate and we're oh. there. so now snapped off the tailgate didn't snap off like i was hoping but that's okay all i have to do is file all this down here on the bottom and we're back to an empty truck bed so let me uh grind that off real quick and then we'll get to building this thing all right got the tailgate all cut off got everything all ground off inside there um no you can't see it there here we go i nicked it in a couple of places but that's okay um, you have an option at this point. You can paint the inside of this bed black, which what I will probably end up doing. Or you can just stick that sucker in there because it covers up everything that you just cut. So it's your, your choice. Me, I'm going to paint this because I know me. Eventually, I'm going to find something better to put this in and it'll come out of here. So I'd like to have it painted now so that when I do take it out, it's already ready to go for something else and it just doesn't have a tailgate so i'm going to get that painted i'm going to get it all glued back together and then we'll start working on uh, the wheels and tires another reason why i want to it's being stubborn another reason why i want to jack this thing watch the see i set it down there and it fell apart fell together is my part of my diorama that you can't see is going to be kind of mountainous so I think it would look good to have a, you know, four by four uh, electric bucket truck to go up in there and work on the power lines when the trees knock them down. So yeah, that's the reason why I want to jack it up other than I just like it that way. Look at that. There's a field of projects all waiting on paint and glue to dry. I forgot I said I was going to tell you what these wheels and tires came off on that next clip. These are off the white 78, 79 Ford, what I call the Uncle Jesse truck. It's the only one I know of that they spatter everything all over it. I've had a few sets of these. Of course, I've had a few of those trucks. So that's what these wheels and tires come off of. All right. We are moving right along with this old bad boy. Um, as you can see, we got wheels and tires now. The bed is all painted up it's tailgate cut off I think it looks pretty good it looks pretty realistic and then uh, I've got the wheels and tires on here got the white wagon wheels those are some of my favorites to use and then I added this baby what do you think of that how many trucks you've seen on the road with dual winches on it that's pretty bad so uh, that I stole off of my King Kong monster truck and I thought why not throw that on there that's gonna look pretty cool so when I said uh, you can't find a perfect truck for this like I said this one's not perfect either it's kind of hard to see I know I'm out of the light there's a slight gap this doesn't go all the way up in the bed so um, like said, it's not a perfect fit, but it's a close enough fit for this project. So that's pretty much just about done. But um, I was thinking a little while ago that I want to add something to this. So I was thinking about maybe adding this trailer to it. And then maybe we can put a coil on there of some wire maybe they're they're going to go up in the mountains and string some wire or something and i got this for toolboxes i get rid of the coke on there that won't take too but won't be so bad and then maybe we put a spool of wire on there and then i don't know um i got a four-wheeler we can stick a four-wheeler on there maybe um um you guys don't know it yet but i have some side-by-sides coming that uh hopefully will be here sometime in the next six months uh, some of the people I deal with they're a little slow on shipping so um, that's what I'm thinking about doing uh, I got to figure out how we're going to make that spool I can make the braces to hold the spool and do we make it so it can spin that would make it look nice you know 
more realistic if it spins. So just ideas. So let me uh, explore that a little bit and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. This kind of looks a little funny here, but uh, this is what I have. This is what we're going to use to make this work. Um, sometimes you just got to improvise and make something work. So I have these sanding discs um, that came with my Dremel. A Dremel, a Dremel kit, accessory kit that I bought. I don't use these daggone things. I don't even know if anybody does, but I have no use for them. I don't use them. I've got a couple bags of them here. So I thought if I take one and I found these buffing pads, I don't know why I stuck them in there. I just did. So I found these buffing pads that were in the same kit and they fit inside. So I just stuck them in there. So I can't find the exact size washer that I want to go on the outside. Um, I found this one, but this one is just way too big. This, you know, you put this on the trailer, you see how much tall, that's just, that's a little bit too big. And I, like I said, I wanted to make a nice little rack to set it on and try to attempt to make this thing spin. So, I'm going to use this to wrap the wire around. I have this old rusty wire, it's kind of thin, so we should be able to, get several wraps around there pretty tight and make it look decent um, it's a little bit rusty but that's okay I'm gonna paint it black anyway so I don't care what it looks like so um, improvising like I said I have these old stupid half dead trees that we bought somewhere that I got dirt cheap I was gonna try to use in my dear Rama and I decided they just were too crappy but they have these little wooden blocks on the bottom of them so you put this wooden block up against here and it's a little bit bigger you can't see because it won't focus it's a little bit bigger so but it's it's not as big as this daggone washer so size difference there is considerable so i'm going to take my saw and i'm going to cut two very small slivers off of this and try to make them as straight as possible with a hand saw We'll see how that works, because as you can see, I don't have much to hold on to here. Alright, she ain't pretty, but she's going to work. Um, I got this spool made. Um, the way, uh, what I, the materials I use to make this with um, are very crude, rudimentary, and um, doesn't look good, but it'll work. Um, not everything has to be perfect it just has to look good from a distance this is the rack I made for the spool of wire um, I just painted that wire black uh, I tried to wind that tight but every time I tried to wind the wire tight around her this thing broke so I just wound it on there glued it all back together and called it good enough again it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to work so as she rolls, she's good enough. Um, I was going to use this trailer, but by my original plan was to put the rack on here, but then that kind of doesn't make sense with this. So I decided to swap trailers. We'll get rid of that one. We're gonna switch to this one. Turn the wire rack sideways on here. That gives me enough room to get the gator on the back. So that's just gonna have to work. Now, truck. Truck is done, pretty much. I put a drop tow hitch on the back so they could tow the trailer. Um, as you can see, I have mirrors on the front, or on the doors now. Um, you can see that I put that uh, double winch bumper off of that um, monster truck that I had uh, for life me I cannot remember the name of it right now but that's where that came from it got to jacked up on the wheels and tires of the M2 versions this thing fits in there pretty good like I said there's a little tiny gap I've never been able to find a perfect truck for this but this one's just gonna have to work 
So, what do you think of my new electric company truck that I jerry rigged out of the out of the blue? So that's what I got for y'all today. Hope y'all like this one. If you do, think about liking, subscribing. It's free to you, and it really helps out the channel. Uh, check me out on Instagram. Check me out on eBay. I got a ton of trucks on there for sale. Um, all that information is in the description below. Don't forget to come back. Y'all have a good day. Bye now.